Hello friends, welcome back to Healthcare Today. Uh, today we will be discussing about uh, what is gastritis and uh, gas formations. So it is very important uh, phenomenon which we are now facing in this uh, world because of the changing lifestyle problems and health care. Uh, so the important thing which we face nowadays, I think uh, all of the viewers must have experience in your lifetime that the, the abdominal pain or distress, heartburn as well as abdominal distension, constipation. These are all related to something about gastritis. So we will be discussing few things on this. The next two, three minutes will be actually you will get to know what is gastritis. As the name suggests gastritis, there is swelling of the mucosal layer of the stomach. So it can happen due to multiple factorials. But the important thing which we have to understand in our daily perspective is 90 to 95 percent of the cases are due to the the lifestyle problems, the dietary habits, the lack of exercise and the sedentary lifestyle and probably the, the office um, work where we have to sit down for almost 8 to 9 hours. That actually causes the inflammation of the mucosa and it is due to the acid production of the stomach. So what does that uh, symptoms, this gastritis uh, usually uh, actually have impact on the life, uh, on the patient? The, usually the patients come with the symptoms of abdominal pain, fullness of the abdomen, bloating, flatulence and even uh, passes of uh, foul smell of uh, platus. So uh, we have also seen patients with reflux symptoms who are more obese and where the patients have just have underwent pregnancy and post, uh, post pregnancy. So today, um, uh, so these, these, are the, these are the very important things where we have to understand where uh, these things happen in our lifestyle. When these patients come to our uh, to us, and, uh, we uh, usually diagnose uh, because on the basis of gastric symptoms that he may have uh, gastritis, the inflammation of the gut and stomach mucosa. Uh, depending upon his uh, history and the severity of the symptoms, we uh, evaluate him further and uh, we treat them. The important thing which we make them to ensure is that because Gastritis is a lifestyle problem. It's not a problem that is a chronic one. Although we have seen patients been uh, giving the symptoms almost for more than five years, six years. It's all due to the lack of awareness and lack of uh, their own self-motivation. Lack of awareness means in the form of that they are not aware what to eat healthy. So first of all, we will like to address all of you people, which foods, which dietary habits actually cause the most common cause of gastritis. It is the oily and the spicy food which we have in the daily outside food. The, the, dry, the, 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 the uh, deep fried foods which we, have, we, which we usually have in outside food is actually causes a lot of acidity and acid productions. The uh, second, uh, apart from this, the outside food, we also try to engulf the food as quickly as possible. It causes a lot of air that we engulf in the stomach, causing that air to distend the stomach instantly. Then the air actually passes down to small intestine to large intestine and the patient's complaints of lot of excess of flitters or gas uh, passes from his uh, stools. So the most important point in this category of these patients which you, we usually advise is that have the meal properly at least chew the meals at least uh, more than 10 to 15, 20 times digest, so that the proper digestion occurs right start from the oral cavity. So our saliva should mix with the food. The saliva has a very important enzyme is the amylase enzyme, which at least degrades or I think it's digest almost 25% of the carbohydrate, which actually helps in the intestine to digest the rest part of the digestion pro uh, process. So it's very important to eat slowly, eat healthy and so that our system gets the uh, amount of good quality food and good quality time uh, for its own proper digestion. Where, where the lifestyle is there, where we have to be in the office from 9 to 6 p.m. So it's very important that you have to be at least some moving your body in the form of any physical activity. It doesn't mean that you have to do some hitting uh, a gym or doing 20-25 minutes cardio, 
any kind of sport activity will suffice rather from any uh, any kind of sports or badminton or something any aerobic exercise so anything where your body can actually move that will actually help you so it is very it is being very uh, is uh, called it's very common proverb that whoever eat uh, whoever whoever walks their colon also walks so it's very important to move your body so that your colon starts working and definitely you will feel that lightness and then the 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 problems actually subsiding with the time the important thing is to here to consider is that so if the lifestyle problems even after you have changed all these you have addressed all these lifestyle problems you are doing good kind of exercise you are following the quality and the the way you are eating and then you are also having that um, the the motivation to get that but even these problems are still existing i would like to uh, advise you to get a uh, so expert opinion from your gastroenterologist in case of any reports which you have you want to uh, you can actually send a message to the number which is being shown over here so that our experts can actually talk to you and help you we care about you thank you mm -hmm.